Hi everybody, this is Karen. Welcome back to our channel called Our House. And in this video, I wanted to show you everything, how I stay organized at our house, my schedule, kids' schedules, cleaning schedules, everything, my favorite tools, resources, just how I keep this ship running. So as a mom of six, 11 and under, stay at home, homeschooling mom, I'm gonna show you just how I stay organized, how I organize it all. And the best way for me to do that, the easiest way is just to kind of go through my home management binder with you and show you how I organize some things. It's a lot easier than kind of doing a day in the life video. That's a lot of work to shoot. And also I'm showing you the desired result, the game plan. It doesn't mean that life always happens exactly like this, but that is the goal. That is what I'm aiming for. So no day is ever perfect where everything happens without a hitch, but this is the expect this is the goal, the standard. And even if I fail at reaching this goal, this standard, um, I still accomplished a lot more than if I didn't have any direction or any plan or any routine whatsoever. So that's what I'm sharing with you today. And so let's just get started. Uh, house. Okay, so this is my home management binder. And I like to put an inspirational quote on the front. It's got my name on the side in case it gets mixed up with the kids binders. It's easy to see. And so I'll show you what I have inside. I have my most pressing matters, doctor's referrals, everything here that I need to really take care of. So I see it often when I open this. And then here is my schedule. It's more of a routine. I like to do the miracle morning. It, first thing when I wake up and if you don't know what that is that's a book by Hal and Rod Elrod I really recommend you read it it's basically um, like a reading writing exercise quiet time all in, in one it's it's kind of hard to explain but there is an app that I used for it that it guides you you could do a condensed version of one minute of each of these activities or the full version is 10 minutes of each activity and then I have Bible reading which is included in the miracle morning and then when you see it C that means computer time and P that's my allocated prayer time so I have three of those in a day and so I'll explain a little bit more what's in the C time breakfast and clean up when you see clean up that means table chores and that's one kid uh, picking up the table clearing off all the dishes putting them in the sink another one sweeping and then another one loading the dishes in the dishwasher so anytime you see clean up that's table chores that's what that means then we get ready and tidy up our rooms and start laundry then we have bible time then that's school time and where I try to clean the house a little bit in between uh, windows working with the little kids. Then lunch and clean up again. Then we have a read aloud time where I read aloud to all the kids and it just settles everybody down after lunch. Then nap time for the big kids and um, I mean for the little kids and then the big kids read or do any kind of leftover school. So then after that I have a time where I do some more cleaning. I've taken over the pool maintenance, so that's when I might test the pool, see what chemicals need to be added, or brushing it, cleaning it, cleaning out the filters, whatever. Then laundry, that's kind of like the reset time where everything goes in the dryer if it didn't happen earlier. And then I have a little mom break, and that's where more C and P come in. And then I'll, I'll go into what exactly the C time is. Then we have dinner prep more and laundry this is usually when the laundry gets brought into the living room and while i prepare dinner the kids sort it out into piles of each child's laundry and then we fold it and put it away then we have dinner and more cleanup and that the final table chores then we have a get ready for bedtime and then a final read aloud time where i read aloud to the kids and then bedtime and then i have a final CMP time. So for C time, computer time, this is my upload schedule. My goal is to have at least one video for this channel and two videos for our house a week. That's the minimum goal that I have. And so in the morning, I'll check emails and Facebook, not so much these two, but I have it there just in case. That's when I post new videos um, or blogs or share what I have to share. 
Then during the nap time, computer time, that's when I do filming, researching, and editing because obviously this is the most time consuming part. This is when I really need um, the fewest interruptions possible. So that's during nap time. And then evening time is a final check of email, Facebook. I upload and I schedule posts throughout the week. And then I try to have Sunday and Tuesday off. So I don't do evening sea time during the, my husband's days off. So that's the computer time breakdown. And then here, here, this is my cleaning schedule. So daily I do a bathroom tidy up and sweep and tidy up the hot zones, you know, where paper and stuff collects toys and laundry. And then Monday I focus on living room, school room, front porch, Tuesday, back porch and pool. Wednesday is the bathrooms, Thursday is the kitchen because Fridays I do grocery shopping so I want to make sure groceries come to a clean kitchen. And then Friday since I'm out and about doing errands, I um, try to wash the car and vacuum it, clean the garage. And Saturday is bedrooms. That's just kind of what goes with our routine, what's best. And I do have a little workout schedule here. We have a treadmill and some weights in the garage. So haven't done this in a while though, but this is the goal. And then I just have some things from other moms, other homeschooling moms that I like to review, things on the Robinson curriculum. I have a master book list here. Each kid has their own book list where they write the date when they've completed that book. But I have a master list where I just keep track of all the kids that have read which books. And then here's the course outline from the Robinson curriculum. I like to read that once or twice a year. Then we have Read Aloud Revival, Sarah McKinsey's stuff. I really enjoyed her website and she's got a lot of great book recommendations. So I keep them all here. Whenever I'm going through um, reserving books at the library, putting holds, I refer to this list and uh, you know pick out some other good things for the kids to read besides their RC books. And I did sign up for the membership and there's lots of great classes and Anything that I liked, I just printed it out and I have it here. There's also books for big families, books for boys, um, novels, short stories. This is the one, books for boys and other children who would rather make forts all day. So lots of great choices here. So I have that there. I also have this guidebook for um, a book that I did a review on, Psycho Cybernetics, because it's a very meaty book and I enjoyed it. Like I said, I made a, um, video on it and so I keep the review here if I ever just want to glance at it I also have some of uh, Sunny Leonard doozy stuff um, some checklists some things about YouTube this is really helpful especially to help friends and what else here yeah then we have some more alpha phonics things and raise arithmetic just kind of some more instructions so I'll refer to that every once in a while and that's pretty much it a notebook for ideas and that's it now as far as menu planning goes i used to do something before where it was meatless monday taco tuesday instapot wednesday theme thursday but now this book has kind of replaced that and it's just made it so much easier i did a video on this with my husband we did a review of week one and this book is really unique because it's not just a cookbook it has 10 weeks of menus breakfast, dinners, and desserts with the ingredient list all ready for you. And then you have all the recipes here, great pictures, very easy, a total time saver, brain saver. So this is what we're doing for meal planning. It's just super easy. And I find it's just the perfect amount of recipes where you can still go out to eat, you know, one night a week or pick out a recipe from another cookbook or do something different. Um, it's just enough, I find, it's perfect. So this is just what I do. I just go through this list and add in a meal or two from different sources that I wanna try special meals and that's it. So it's all here and I'll put a link to this in the description. This is a mock-up copy. The, um, the ones you can pre-order now are really nice. They have a really nice cover. So this is just a mock-up that I have, but I will put a link to the pre-order for this cookbook, menu planning book. And this is my home management binder. If you Google home management binder, you will get a ton of ideas. I'll also put, if you'd like, 
a link to my schedule and the kids schedule if that's helpful to you I don't know if it would be but I could include that as well now as far as organizing homeschooling I've put down the girls schedule here in between their desks so they know exactly what they need to be doing next and they have Bible reading one chapter on their own this is aside from Bible time they have their math lesson they review their spelling words Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, they write essays. There's Tuesdays and Thursdays now, they write 10 sentences with vocabulary words. I feel like this really helps them to understand the vocab words. And then they might also do some copy work from the Book of Knowledge that day. Then they rewrite those sentences or that essay after I correct them. They review the vocabulary. Then they just kind of check in with mom if I need to give them any spelling tests or vocabulary tests. They do their penmanship. They read their RC book, then we do Professor K grammar, and then read, write, piano, or other things, coding, whatever, drawing, art, you know, that's for the afternoon. So that's their schedule, so they know what to do. And then over here, I have the little kids' schedules, Josh and Jenny, they do a math lesson, a phonics lesson, they practice their Dolch sight words, some reading to me, uh, primary language lessons, so you can find that on my website and then copy work penmanship and then in the afternoon just other stuff and here i did a video on this here are all the rc flashcards math and all the vocabulary so that's organized right here this book has all the vocabulary exercises here also and here's how i organize all our homeschool stuff so the little kids have their binders here here's the penmanship cursive and manuscript binder Here's some flashcards, math, time, I mean, money, time, uh, cursive. Then we have here Professor K. This is the Josephine Pollard book. All the reproducibles, 100 easy lessons, all the Dolch sight words. And then I've been a comb binding fool lately. I'll do a video on how I've been comb binding, what machine I use. I really like it. It's, it was a gift from a friend and I'm using it a lot as you can see alpha phonics primary language lessons we have read write and play music the our house little bit of everything uh, book that i put together childhood happy hours and then these are kind of preschool uh, and master word mastery um, pronouns and then down here we have of course all of saxon math everyday number stories and raise arithmetic this is it for homeschooling stuff. I did a video on just kind of miscellaneous things that I have here, and then the rest is just books. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what some of my favorite apps are to stay organized here on my phone. This is a new phone for me. I've never had an iPhone before. This is my first one, and I loved how I could just download a ton of apps. So I have all the social media apps, but this one is really cool. It's pool math this is from trouble free pool which i love it's so helpful to me for example we just refilled our pool water and we had a cya of zero and the target was 60 so it would tell me exactly how much to put in to and then i could log it in and so that was really helpful i do that with the fc free chlorine or the ph i just did that one it, our, tar our current pH was 7.8 and I wanted to get it down a bit and it'll tell you exactly how much to add of what thing that you choose. So this is super helpful if you have a pool, I really recommend an app like this. Then I also have obviously if this then that, IFTTT and that's for example, if you post here, it will post for you there. Um, if you have a new follower on Twitter, it will greet them. You know, just it's like a little miniature personal assistant. I really like that one. We also have Hoopla, RB Digital, Audio, Audible, Kindle. So all the book apps, I can get free books from Hoopla, R RB Digital. And this is pretty much how I do all my audiobooks from now on because the CDs are always scratched. Um, so this is the best way just to play it from my phone and stream it on um, my car so I love that you could do books ebooks audiobooks then of course Amazon Goodreads is where I keep track of all the books that I'm currently reading or that I want to read so that's really helpful 
and scripture typer i talked about that in my last video i really like that duolingo is a great way to learn uh, languages for free evernote that's super helpful i also have here shutterfly so for example i have phone pictures on my phone i could just upload it to shutterfly directly really quick my bible reading plan that's very helpful we have the miracle morning here and basically what it is the regular miracle morning routine it's 10 minutes of each activity silence affirmations visualizations exercise reading and writing however you can tailor that how you want to um, as a christian reading for me is uh, bible writing could be just writing my to-do list or my goals and visualization affirmation silence that could be prayer okay so it's just however you want to customize it and you could do 10 minutes for each one or you could do one minute for each one if you don't have a lot of time in the morning so that's the miracle morning one i really like that app pogo pass is super helpful if i'm out and about i could just scan this if we go someplace i don't have to bring any passes with me and it will tell me that I have how much of what left. I have, you know, all these visits that I could do this week, um, all these sports games. And then it tells me, for example, I have one more visit to the zoo, um, one more visit to the Idea Museum, all these things. So it's super helpful, great app, the Pogo Pass app. And I have my Cox Home Life. We have an alarm system so I can arm it and disarm it from out and about and then offer up an ebay so those are the apps that really help me to um, save money without late fees at the library missing fees and also um, be able to do my social media stuff quickly and also just to keep track of for example our pool maintenance so these are some great apps and they really help me to stay organized and i mentioned this in the other video the um toy purging one minimalist one how the best way to keep the rooms tidy and organized is just to have less stuff each kid has one bin of this of clothes and that is it except of course uh dresses and their undergarments leggings that are in here but that's it just having uh less stuff makes it really easy to keep organized so it can't really get that messy if you don't have a lot so this is this could be tidied up a bit more, obviously, but you know, just their dolls are there. They put up a little tree here. This is what the boys' room looks like that is pretty messy. James, do you want to help me tidy up your room? How would you clean it up? What's the first thing you need to do? Clean the Legos. Clean the Legos, yep. Where do they go? Mom, see what, Mom, see what made. What's Ninjago that? Ninjago Legos. Ninjago? So another tip that I recommend is having a drawer in the house where you could just put to keep the paper clutter down. Just one drawer where you can keep all the stuff that you want to keep from your kids. This was so cute. Izzy made a little pop-up book of everybody in the family. That's Ellie, Josh, Jenny. So I just keep everything in one drawer like for me too to make sure everything has its place everything has a container just visually it helps me to feel more organized okay so this is our garage and I really like that there's all these cabinets it kind of makes it feel a little bit more tidy all the stuff is in there my laundry machines are in the garage and so we have one of the benches from the van out here that's where kids sit down to put their shoes on and so one of these cupboards has everybody's shoes except for my husband so there's just one crate for each child and some other like workout stuff on top because i do have this is kind of like a little workout station so this really helps to stay organized and right here i have the colors of the house the trim and things like that so easy to tell if we need to go pick up some paint you know what colors that we need or what colors complement the original colors so that's helpful and yeah just storing stuff up on top everywhere okay so that is it for this video i hope that it was helpful to you and you just see the method to the madness here at our house the game plan like i said it doesn't always go off exactly like that every single day but that is the goal and it really helps just having a game plan um, so yeah if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below like it if you like it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave thank you so much for watching have a great day see you in the next video uh -huh.